but Amesy here of Amesy's Antics. Welcome to my channel. I hope you're well today because I have a creative and crafty project to share with you and one that involves a little bit of upcycling slash recycling and using some sewing skills to do so because I'm going to show you how to turn a jumper into a cushion. Yes, we're going to recycle some old jumpers and make them into some cozy looking deco and this also doubles up as making a memory cushion. So if you have sadly lost somebody and you want to turn a piece of their clothing into something in your decor or home so you still feel their presence like I did. Sadly, my neighbour passed away at the middle of last year so I wanted to make something nice for her husband so it still felt like she was around at Christmas and I am turning an old Christmas jumper pairs into a cushion. So I guess if you have some Christmas jumpers left over that you're probably not going to wear again next year but love the design of, then you can turn it into a cushion. So if you would like to see how to turn a jumper into a cushion, then let's get sewing. So here is the jumper that I am going to be turning into a cushion and we basically need to use the two sides of the jumper to create all the pieces to the cushion. So to do this we need to separate them and by doing that we are going to cut down the side seam on either side of the jumper. So you want to cut up right up into where the sleeve starts on the armhole. Um, where the armpit area is I guess um, but once you get to the sleeve don't do what I did do not cut the sleeve away from the jumper you want to cut down the seam of the sleeve to open it up this is wrong but we're going to go with this I found I needed to reattach the sleeve to the jumper so that I had enough fabric to make the parts of the jumper as you can see here so now that we have the front part and enough material of the jumper, we want to draw a 47 centimetre by 47 centimetre square across this. And obviously this has got a motif, so I wanted that more central. Before cutting and after marking, you just want to do a straight stitch on the inside of that marking. So inside the line that you're going to cut, and this will just help stop the wool unravelling once this is cut. As you can see here, it has puckered it slightly because you need to use a zigzag stitch really with knit. But this will just stop it unravelling once it is cut. And now that we have the stitching in place, we want to cut along the outside of that line, making sure the stitching is still on the piece that we have cut. And if you did keep these sleeves attached better than what I did, you will find that you'll have the neck and shoulder seams still intact as well. But this is an 18 by 18 inch cushion, which is why it's 47 centimeters. Um, so that will actually cut out that bit and you will still have the sleeves bit attached for the back panel. However, I didn't, so I've had to realign and re-sew the arm pieces back onto the back piece of the jumper. And then we're gonna create the back pieces. The back of the cushion is going to be an envelope style, so we're going to need two pieces for this. And we're going to keep the width of the measurements the same, so it's going to be 47 centimetres wide. However, we're going to extend that a bit and make it 59 centimetres long. And then from the top and bottom of this, you want to mark up 29 centimetres, and this will be the line that we cut across to create the two halves. Before we do this, we wanna do the line of stitching again to stop it unraveling and then cut on the outside of that line and across that middle. So you're gonna to have to do two lines of stitching across the middle to stop it unraveling and then cut down the middle of that. And that should give you the two parts of the back of the cushion with one part having the ribbed bottom of the jumper still attached. Then what we're gonna to do to create a nice neat ending of the top part of the back piece of the jumper or the cushion piece, we're gonna actually reattach the banding from the front part that was cut off. So what you wanna do is line this up, pin it or clip it like I have done, and then use a zigzag stitch to sew it together. And you should have like a mini jumper, I guess, with a ribbed bottom. Then we're gonna create the cushion. First, you want to place down the front of the cushion cover part of the jumper right side up so the motif facing you and then you want to place one of the back pieces right side down lining up the top raw edges now what I'm doing with my piece here is lining up the two shouldery sleeve parts that were cut so that it's uniformed on the front and back and clipping these into place with some quilting clips rather than sewing uh, pinning needles 
sewing pins that's what they're called and then you want to do the same with the bottom lining up the raw edges and overlapping this over the top of that first one so you've got a ribbed edge on the top further up then what we're going to do is just sew all the way along around the edge with a zigzag stitch because you need to sew knit with a zigzag stitch i didn't say that i don't think earlier um and sew all the way around turn it at the corners until you come back to the start remembering to back stitch at the start and end of this just for some added security And this is what it should look like once it is all sewn together and you may find that the uh, seam allowance does roll a little bit but that's fine you don't need to really zigzag it it should hold its shape and you can press it if you want but you have to do it with a low heat because you've got to be careful when pressing wool or you can do a finger press so turn it right side out and just like roll the seams in between your fingers to flatten them out a bit making sure to push all of those corners out fully then all that's left to do is test your handiwork, make sure it fits and place in an 18 by 18 inch cushion insert and this is what it should turn out like. Now I did do some extra bits to the cushion so I added some jingle bells to all four corners as well as created a little vinyl um, sticker piece to go on the back um, just saying whose Christmas cushion it was sort of in memory of the person whose jumper it was but you don't have to do this you can do whatever you like and that is how to turn a jumper into a cushion how to turn a jumper into a cushion for some really nice cozy decor now this is also great like i said as making a memory cushion taking something old and making it into a keepsake for maybe somebody who's passed or if you've just got a jumper you really like it doesn't fit or it just isn't wearable as much but you can still use it to make a cushion and it lasts on it's great for recycling so yes have a go at making your own cushion if you can and there was some little issues but they're easily rectifiable like I cut the sleeves wrong and had to reattach them to be able to get the shape so my I guess my uh, tip would be make sure you measure twice cut once so that you don't make any more mistakes but you know you win some you lose some and um yeah mistakes happen in crafting projects and sometimes it can turn out for the better i think it gives a cushion a little bit more character what do you think anyway let me know what you think in those comments below whether you're going to be making your own jumper cushion i would love to know your thoughts so put it in them comments and if you enjoyed the video then please do give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to hit that subscribe button to keep up with all my creative and crafty antics coming up onto the channel and whilst you're there hit that notification bell because that will alert you each time my videos go live i also have a blog aims is antics which is linked down below and up above for you to check out because sometimes there's just a little bit more information over on the blog and with that said i will see you in the next video and i hope you have a wonderful rest of your day and week and are able to do something creative and crafty to pass your time like make your own jumper cushion possibilities are endless and until the next one bye